In a world that often celebrates the loudest voices and the quickest opinions, the ancient philosophy of Stoicism invites us to cultivate a different kind of strength, the power of silence. As the great Stoic Emperor Marcus Aurelius taught, our true power lies not in controlling external events but in mastering our own minds and responses. And one of the most profound ways we can exercise this power is by knowing when to stay silent, when to listen deeply, and when to let wisdom flow to us from the world around us. In this video, we'll explore 12 key situations where the practice of staying silent is not just polite or respectful, but absolutely essential for our personal growth, our relationships, and our ability to navigate life with wisdom and integrity. Thank you all for watching, and we hope you find truth in this wisdom. Number one, during a religious service or ceremony, especially during prayers. As Marcus Aurelius, the great Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. One crucial time to exercise this power over your mind and remain silent out of respect is during religious services or ceremonies. When attending a church, mosque, synagogue, temple, or any other religious gathering, it's important to observe the sanctity and solemnity of prayers, meditations, and moments of quiet reflection. Speaking or making noise during these times is highly disrespectful to the religious leaders and other worshipers who are trying to connect with their higher power or reflect deeply. Even if you don't share the same beliefs, staying silent shows your respect for the sacredness of the ritual to those practicing their faith. Loud whispers, phone conversations, or side chatter can shatter the atmosphere of peace, contemplation, and spiritual communion. So next time you find yourself in a religious service, whether it's for a wedding, funeral, regular worship, or holiday observation, embrace the power of silence. Use those quiet moments to reflect inwardly, ponder the mysteries of the divine and universe, or quietly observe the beauty of ancient rituals, all while allowing others to do the same undisturbed. Keeping your voice and movement still can lead to profound insights, revelations, and growth. As Aurelius also wisely stated, nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. Quietly observing religious ceremonies, even those outside your own faith, can greatly expand your understanding of human culture, spirituality, and the myriad ways we grapple with life's deepest questions. So when the prayers begin, let your silent respect and contemplation begin as well. Number two, when someone else is delivering a speech. In the wise words of Marcus Aurelius, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. One crucial time to control your thoughts and actions by remaining silent is when others are giving speeches, presentations, or performances. Picture yourself at a conference, classroom lecture, or theater. The speaker or performer has likely poured countless hours into preparing their material, rehearsing, and summoning the courage to stand vulnerably before the audience. They deserve your full, quiet attention, not just as a courtesy, but to truly absorb the knowledge and experiences they're sharing. Interrupting with questions, chatting with your neighbor, rustling papers, or letting your phone buzz and ping shows immense disrespect to the presenter and hinders everyone else's ability to learn, be inspired, moved, or entertained. Even quiet whispers can carry and distract in a silent auditorium. Beyond basic etiquette, staying silent allows you to focus your mind fully on the content being shared, opening yourself to new insights and perspectives that could plant seeds of wisdom or inspiration that blossom in the future. As Aurelius noted, you have power over your mind not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Exercise your power to quiet your mind and control your reactions, even if the presentation isn't always riveting. Silently taking notes or simply listening intently sharpens your ability to retain key information and ideas. You may hear a profound quote, learn a new skill, or forge a meaningful connection to the speaker's story that strikes a resonant chord but only if you're tuned in and not creating mental or audible distractions. Aurelius also said, It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. 
Failing to embrace opportunities to learn and grow by disengaging during presentations cheats yourself out of chances to evolve and thrive. Growth often happens incrementally, one talk or experience at a time. So next time you're an audience member, commit to being fully present. Resist the urge to comment to others, check your messages, shuffle belongings, or let your mind loudly wander. Quiet your inner dialogue and immerse yourself in the moment and material. You never know what transformative gem of wisdom you might uncover in the silence. Number three. In a library, museum, or art gallery where silence is expected, as the great Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This wisdom is particularly applicable when visiting places dedicated to learning, culture, and quiet contemplation, such as libraries, museums, and art galleries. In these revered institutions, staying silent is not just a matter of following rules, but an opportunity to exercise control over your mind and behavior. When you enter a library, you're stepping into a sanctuary of knowledge and focus. The hushed atmosphere allows readers to fully immerse themselves in their studies, research, or literary adventures without distractions. Even whispers can carry and disrupt others' concentration. Silence here is a gift to yourself and those around you, allowing deeper engagement with ideas and information. Similarly, museums and art galleries are designed for quiet observation, reflection, and appreciation of history, science, and human creativity. The reverent silence encourages visitors to contemplate each exhibit or artwork carefully, reading the explanatory texts, absorbing the visual details, and listening to any audio guides without the interruption of chatter or noise. In the tranquil space of a gallery, you can let your mind enter a dialogue with the art, pondering its meanings, stories, and the skills and emotions of its creators. As Aurelius wrote, nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. Quietly observing a painting, sculpture, or historical artifact can transport you across time and cultures, expanding your understanding of the world and human experience in profound ways. Moreover, many people visit these cultural institutions seeking solace, inspiration, or a meditative experience. Shattering the silence with conversation or disturbances infringes on their right to a peaceful, introspective visit. It's an act of respect and empathy to maintain the calm ambiance. Aurelius also taught, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. By immersing yourself in the quiet beauty and wisdom of libraries, museums, and galleries, you allow your soul to be enriched by the thoughts of great artists, writers, innovators, and eras gone by. Silence facilitates this deep communion and elevates your inner life. So next time you enter these bastions of knowledge and culture, embrace the power of silence. Let it sharpen your focus, deepen your contemplation, and attune you to subtle details and inner reflections you might otherwise miss. In the words of Aurelius, the universal order and the personal order are nothing but different expressions and manifestations of a common underlying principle. By quietly observing the orders of art, history, and recorded thought, you may just discover new truths about your own place in the grand scheme of existence. Number four, during a life performance. When attending a movie, play, or live performance, the quality of your thoughts and experiences heavily depends on your ability to stay silent and fully immerse yourself in the unfolding story or artistic expression. Simultaneously, your commitment to silence allows others to do the same without interruptions. When the lights dim and the curtain rises or the movie screen flickers to life, it's a signal to quiet both your voice and mind. The creators, performers, and fellow audience members have all gathered to be transported into a shared narrative or aesthetic journey. Talking, whispering, rustling snacks, or letting devices beep and buzz can shatter the carefully crafted illusions and emotional resonance the artists strive to build. In the sacred space of a theater, your silence is a form of respect for the talent, dedication, and vulnerability of the performers pouring their hearts into each line, gesture, and note. 
They rely on the audience's rapt attention and pin drop quiet to maintain their focus, timing, and emotional authenticity. Even faint distractions can throw off their delivery or break the spell they're weaving. Moreover, your fellow audience members have invested their time, money, and anticipation to be fully present and lost in the performance. They deserve to savor each moment, line, and visual without competing with your chatter or disruptions. Silence here is a pact of mutual respect and shared reverence for the arts. As Aurelius wrote, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Exerting your power to stay quiet and control the urge to comment, check your phone, or fidget, allows you to strengthen your focus and open yourself fully to the emotional and intellectual depths of the performance. You may discover profound insights into the human condition, be moved to laughter or tears, or find your perceptions expanded in ways that only undivided attention allows. Aurelius also taught, Nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. Quietly observing a performance with all your senses and mental faculties can illuminate new understandings about storytelling, visual artistry, the subtleties of behavior and relationships, and your own inner workings. But this deep investigation is only possible in receptive silence. Some of life's most transformative and transcendent moments happen in the hush of a darkened theater, when you let go of your own voice and thoughts to be fully present for the creative visions and emotional truths unfolding before you. As Aurelius wrote, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Let your soul be dyed with the colors, words, and stirring score of the performance, undiluted by the static of disruptions. So next time you take your seat for a show, sink into the silence. Let it heighten your anticipation, sharpen your senses, and open your mind to the full spectrum of experiences the performers and fellow audience members hope to share. Embrace the opportunity to investigate art and life in a way that only respectful silence allows. As the Stoics knew, it's in those fully immersed moments that we often discover new depths within ourselves. Number 5. When a teacher, professor, or speaker is giving instructions or explaining a concept, in a classroom or lecture hall, the primary purpose is the transmission and exchange of knowledge, ideas, and skills. The teacher or speaker has devoted significant time and energy to crafting their lesson plans, presentations, and explanations to optimize your understanding and retention. When they are speaking, your silence allows you to fully absorb and process the information they're sharing. Interrupting with questions, comments, or side conversations during the teacher's discourse can derail their train of thought, disrupt the flow of the lesson, and cause you and your classmates to miss key points or connections. Even whispering to a neighbor can create a ripple effect of distraction that hinders everyone's ability to focus and comprehend. Moreover, the classroom is a shared space of learning, where each student deserves an equal opportunity to hear and engage with the material. Disturbing the quiet concentration of the room infringes on your classmates' right to an optimal learning environment. It's a matter of respect for their time, efforts, and educational goals. As Aurelius wrote, nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. The classroom is a prime opportunity to investigate new subjects, ideas, and skills under the guidance of an expert but this deep investigation and broadening of your mind can only happen if you quieten your own voice and thoughts to truly listen and observe. Silence in the classroom also allows you to develop your focus, discipline, and impulse control. As Aurelius taught, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By training yourself to resist the urge to speak out of turn, you cultivate the mental strength and clarity to engage with the material on a deeper level. You learn to prioritize the quality of your understanding over the fleeting satisfaction of a comment or quip. Of course, participating in class discussions, asking thoughtful questions, and seeking clarification when needed are valuable parts of the learning process. But there is a time and place for speaking up, usually when the teacher invites participation or opens the floor for dialogue. 
waiting for these appropriate moments shows respect for the educator's authority and expertise and allows them to manage the flow and pacing of the lesson for everyone's benefit. Aurelius also said, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. By immersing yourself in the colors of new knowledge and ideas through attentive silence, you allow your mind and soul to expand in ways that can shape your personal growth and future pursuits. The habit of respectful listening and quiet contemplation honed in the classroom can serve you well in all areas of life. So next time you find yourself in a lecture or lesson, embrace the power of silence. Let it sharpen your focus, open your mind to new dimensions of understanding, and show respect for your teacher and classmates. As Aurelius reminds us, you have power over your mind. Use that power to cultivate the quiet strength of a true learner and seeker of wisdom. Number six, during a moment of business. This wisdom is particularly relevant in the high stakes situation of a job interview, where your ability to control your impulses and maintain respectful silence can make a profound impact on your success and professional reputation. When you enter a job interview, you're not just being evaluated for your skills and qualifications, but also for your character, communication abilities, and potential fit within the company culture. The way you listen and respond to the interviewer's questions and comments can speak volumes about your self-control, emotional intelligence, and respect for authority. As the interviewer speaks, whether asking a question or providing information about the role and organization, staying silent and fully attentive demonstrates your genuine interest, professionalism, and ability to focus on the matter at hand. Interrupting, interjecting, or letting your mind wander to your own thoughts can come across as rude, impatient, or disengaged, qualities that rarely impress potential employers. Moreover, the interview is a valuable opportunity to gather insights about the position, team dynamics, and corporate values that can help you determine if the job aligns with your own goals and work style. As Aurelius wrote, Nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. By quietly observing and listening to the interviewer, you can pick up on subtle cues, expectations, and priorities that can inform your responses and decision-making. Silence in an interview also allows you to collect your thoughts and formulate thoughtful, articulate answers to the questions posed. Rushing to fill every pause with chatter or half-formed ideas can undermine your credibility and poise. As Aurelius taught, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Taking a moment to silently reflect on the question and carefully construct your reply can showcase your critical thinking, self-awareness, and communication skills in a much more favorable light. Of course, an interview is a two-way conversation, and there will be appropriate times for you to ask your own questions, share your relevant experiences and insights, and highlight your unique value proposition. But even in these moments, practicing the art of concise, purposeful speaking, balanced with attentive listening, can set you apart as a candidate of substance and emotional maturity. As Aurelia said, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. By focusing your thoughts on understanding the interviewer's perspective, the role's requirements, and how you can contribute to the organization's success, you color your responses with sincerity, relevance, and a team-oriented mindset. Quiet confidence and respectful engagement can leave a far more memorable impression than a stream of unfiltered chatter. Ultimately, mastering the art of strategic silence in an interview setting demonstrates your respect for the interviewer's time and expertise, your ability to control your impulses and emotions under pressure, and your commitment to meaningful professional dialogue. As Aurelius reminds us, you have power over your mind. Use that power to cultivate the quiet strength, focus, and intentionality that can set you apart in your career journey. So next time you find yourself in the interview hot seat, embrace the power of silence when appropriate. Let it showcase your listening skills, thoughtfulness, and professional presence. In a world of constant noise and distraction, the ability to be fully present and deliberately silent can be a rare and highly valued asset. Number seven, in a place of law. The courtroom is a sacred space of justice where the fate of individuals, 
families, and sometimes entire communities hangs in the balance. The proceedings are carefully orchestrated to ensure fairness, impartiality, and the rigorous examination of evidence and testimony. Any disruption to this process, including unnecessary noise or chatter, can undermine the integrity of the trial and the rights of all parties involved. When a judge speaks, whether issuing a ruling, giving instructions to the jury, or admonishing an attorney, their words carry the weight of the law and the authority of the court. Interrupting or speaking over them is not just a sign of disrespect, but can be considered contempt of court, a serious offense that can result in fines or even imprisonment. Similarly, when attorneys are presenting their arguments, questioning witnesses or raising objections, they are advocating for their clients' rights and interests within the bounds of the law. They have spent countless hours preparing their case, studying precedents, and crafting their strategies. Disrupting their flow with side conversations or comments can throw off their concentration, cause them to miss crucial points, and ultimately jeopardize their client's chance at a fair trial. Perhaps most importantly, when witnesses are testifying, they are often reliving traumatic experiences, revealing deeply personal information, or facing intense scrutiny and cross-examination. They deserve the full, silent attention of the court as they fulfill their civic duty and provide the evidence needed to reach a just verdict. Whispering, snickering, or reacting audibly to their testimony can not only distract them, but also re-traumatize them and discourage others from coming forward in the future. As Aurelius wrote, Nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. The courtroom is a prime opportunity to observe the workings of the legal system, the strategies of skilled attorneys, and the human stories behind each case. But this investigation and broadening of perspective can only happen if you quiet your own mind and voice to fully absorb the proceedings. Moreover, as Aurelius taught, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By focusing your thoughts on the facts, arguments, and implications of the case, rather than on your own reactions or opinions, you cultivate a deeper understanding of the complexities of justice and the profound impact the law has on people's lives. Maintaining silence in court is not just a passive act, but an active practice of self-control, empathy, and civic responsibility. It demonstrates your respect for the legal process, the professionals involved, and the lives hanging in the balance. It also allows you to develop the mental discipline and emotional restraint needed to navigate challenging situations beyond the courtroom. As Aurelius said, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. By immersing yourself in the solemnity and significance of the court proceedings, you color your own character with the hues of justice, fairness, and the rule of law. You become a more engaged citizen, a more critical thinker, and a more compassionate member of society. So next time you find yourself in a courtroom, whether as a juror, witness, or observer, embrace the power of silence. Let it sharpen your focus, deepen your understanding, and reflect your respect for the majesty of the law. In a world often clouded by noise and opinion, the quiet clarity of a silent courtroom can be a beacon of truth and justice. Number eight, when someone is sharing a deeply personal or emotional story, in our fast-paced, hyper-connected world, it's increasingly rare for people to find a listener who can offer their undivided attention and uninterrupted presence. When a friend, family member, or colleague opens up to you about a painful experience, a significant life event, or a vulnerable part of themselves, they are taking a leap of faith and inviting you into their private world. They are trusting you to hold space for their story, validate their emotions, and bear witness to their journey. Interrupting with your own anecdotes, advice, or reactions, however well-intentioned, can derail their narrative, invalidate their feelings, and make them feel rushed or unheard. It can send the message that your thoughts and experiences are more important than theirs, or that you're uncomfortable sitting with the weight of their emotions. Even seemingly harmless interjections like, I know exactly how you feel, or everything happens for a reason, can minimize their unique perspective and shut down further sharing. Instead, 
Embracing silence allows you to create a safe, non-judgmental space for them to process their thoughts and feelings at their own pace. It communicates that you are fully present, actively listening, and honoring the significance of their story. By quieting your own mind and voice, you invite them to explore the depths of their experience, to put words to complex emotions, and to find their own path to meaning and resilience. As Aurelius wrote, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. By practicing silent, compassionate listening, you cultivate the mental strength and emotional intelligence to be fully present for others without getting caught up in your own reactions or the urge to fix or advise. You develop the capacity to sit with discomfort, to witness pain, and to offer the profound healing of being truly seen and heard. Moreover, as Aurelius taught, nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. By giving others the uninterrupted space to share their stories, you have the opportunity to broaden your own perspective, to learn from their experiences, and to deepen your understanding of the human condition. You may discover new insights into the complexities of relationships, the resilience of the spirit, or the universality of suffering and joy. Offering the gift of silent listening is not just a matter of respect and empathy, but a profound practice of stoic wisdom and personal growth. It challenges you to put aside your own ego, to embrace the discomfort of another's pain, and to recognize the shared humanity in every story. It allows you to cultivate the virtues of patience, humility, and compassion, while also strengthening your relationships and building deeper trust. As Aurelius said, whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? By practicing silent, non-judgmental listening, you develop the self-awareness and empathy to recognize your own struggles in other stories, to offer understanding rather than criticism, and to foster a more compassionate and connected world. So next time someone trusts you with their deeply personal story, embrace the power of silence. Let it create a sacred space for their soul to reveal its colors, for their journey to unfold at its own pace. Let it be a gift of presence, respect, and empathy that honors the profound human need to be seen, heard, and understood. In a world often filled with noise and distraction, the quiet strength of a silent listener can be a transformative force for healing and connection. Number nine, when someone with more experience and knowledge is speaking. The great Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. One could argue that another precious privilege is the opportunity to learn from those who have gone before us, who have accumulated wisdom and expertise through their life experiences and pursuits. In situations where someone with more experience or knowledge is speaking, staying silent and fully present is not only a mark of respect, but also a gateway to personal growth and intellectual enrichment. In our fast-paced, achievement-oriented culture, there can be a temptation to constantly assert our own opinions, to prove our own competence, or to seek validation through being heard. But as Aurelius teaches us, true wisdom often lies in the ability to listen, to observe, and to absorb the insights of those who have walked the paths we aspire to follow. When we find ourselves in the presence of a mentor, a seasoned professional, or a recognized expert in a field, we are being given a rare gift, the chance to tap into a well of knowledge that has been accumulated over years, decades, or even a lifetime. By staying silent and fully engaged, we open ourselves to learning from their successes and failures, their breakthroughs and setbacks, their hard-won wisdom and innovative ideas. This practice of silent learning requires humility, patience, and a genuine desire for growth. It means putting aside our own egos, our urge to interrupt or interject, and our need to impress or be validated. It means recognizing that, regardless of our own accomplishments or intelligence, there is always more to learn always room for expansion and refinement of our understanding. As Aurelius wrote, 
Nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. By quietly observing and absorbing the knowledge and experiences of those ahead of us on the path, we exponentially expand our own capacity for insight, innovation, and effective action. We gain not only practical skills and strategies, but also the wisdom to navigate the complexities and challenges of our chosen field with greater dexterity and resilience. Moreover, the practice of silent learning is a powerful exercise in self-mastery and mental discipline. As Aurelius taught, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. By choosing to stay silent and focused in the presence of an experienced speaker, we strengthen our ability to control our impulses, to direct our attention, and to absorb information with clarity and retention. We cultivate the mental fortitude to be students of life, always eager and open to the teachings available in every encounter. Of course, this doesn't mean that we should never ask questions, seek clarification, or engage in meaningful dialogue with those more experienced than ourselves. But it does mean that we approach these interactions with a spirit of humility, respect, and a genuine desire to learn. It means valuing their time and expertise, and being judicious in when and how we interject our own thoughts and queries. As Aurelius said, Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? By practicing silent learning, we develop the self-awareness to recognize our own knowledge gaps, biases, and areas for growth. We cultivate the emotional intelligence to learn from others' experiences without judgment or defensiveness, and to integrate their wisdom into our own evolving perspective. Ultimately, the practice of staying silent when someone with more experience is speaking is a profound act of personal and professional development. It allows us to stand on the shoulders of giants, to accelerate our own learning curve, and to contribute to our fields with greater insight, innovation, and impact. It is a mark of wisdom, maturity, and a commitment to lifelong growth. As Aurelius wrote, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By filling our thoughts with the wisdom and experiences of those ahead of us on the path, we elevate the quality of our own minds, our own work, and our own lives. We become not just skilled practitioners, but also wise stewards of the knowledge and insights passed down to us. So next time you find yourself in the presence of someone with more experience or expertise, embrace the power and privilege of silence. Let it be a doorway to deeper learning, greater self-mastery, and a richer understanding of your craft and your world. In a culture that often prioritizes speaking over listening, the quiet art of learning from others may be the most transformative skill of all. If you are listening to this, thank you for staying till the end. If you feel any of these Stoic lessons resonated with you today, feel free to start a Stoic discussion in the comments. I welcome Stoic discussions as they are what the great Stoics like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca advised for. If you enjoy Stoicism and its philosophy, then our new newsletter where you can sign up for in the description or comments is for you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, and if you want more content like this, subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope you find peace and serenity in the Stoic ways.